please call their name silently to join us now. And we do that by saying, dear soul, mind, and body of my loved one, say their name. And let us chant together the universal light and offer our unconditional love and compassion to all the souls who have been called here, to each one of us, to your neighbor, the one next to you and behind you. May they receive the blessings of this universal light streaming through you as you chant in this condition. As you chant universal light, you become universal light. All of 
the time are constantly contracting and expanding, as if they're breathing, but they're doing it really fast. They're vibrating. I mean, they're contracting, expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting, expanding. They're vibrating, they're vibrating, they're vibrating. And so as they're contracting, okay, the energy is, is converted to matter. As they're expanding, matter is converted to energy. And it's constantly going on like this in relative balance and harmony, okay? And this allows the energy around the cells. Oh, to imagine, oh, there's also many other cells. Okay, this creates a field around the cell, the way that the cell is functioning. When it's exchanging energy and matter in a relative balance and harmonious way, that field around that cell and the other cells, they're radiating also. Now, if the cells are not, I know it's it, the one thing that is influencing the way this is happening, this is a real, it's a real mystery in modern science. People are, the scientists have really been wondering, how is it that these cells know how to communicate with one another? Even from the very early embryo, just a few days in gestation, suddenly the heart cells activate. And then one heart cell that activates initiates the activity of all the heart cells around it until all the cells are functioning as a cohesive organ. What is that informational system? What is the communication? How do the cells know what's going on? How do they respond like that to everything in our environment, to the way that we're thinking and feeling? Okay? There's a communication system that is very sophisticated, faster than light. And this is what we call the message. Okay? Message, soul, spirit. We can use these words interchangeably. Yeah? But for the purpose of what we're speaking about here, we're talking about how we influence that message. This is what soul healing is about. Okay? It's about influencing the message. Matter and energy are carriers of message. Matter and energy are influenced by message. Okay? It's a constant process that's going on in the body. And so what we're what we're wanting to do okay, to optimize our wellness, our well-being, is to maintain that message at a very high frequency. Okay, and after lunch, I'm going to show you the ways in which we boost our energy. Okay, because when our energy is up, our frequency is up. We're not bogged down so much in a lot of like echoing. When the energy is up, frequency is up, it's much more um, accessible to be operating higher frequency, higher energy, higher vibrations, and where it's much more of an easy flow with these, um, with these frequencies that we really want to be having influencing our system, and therefore being offered to others. No, this is really key. Is this clear to everybody, this idea about how the cells are functioning? Okay, and so if you also to grasp this is to see what it